Thank you for tuning in to the Comlex Instant Review. Let's review some of the symptoms of atherosclerotic occlusive disease of the bifurcation of the abdominal aorta. This is also known as Larique syndrome. What are some of the symptoms of Larique syndrome? Is it claudication of the buttock and thigh, claudication of the calf, sexual impotence, or gangrene of the foot? Or is it several of the ones that I just mentioned? The answer here is going to be it's claudication of the buttock and thigh, claudication of the calf, and sexual impotence. Now, the slow progression of aortoiliac atherosclerotic occlusive disease is usually associated with the development of collateral flow through the lumbar branches of the aorta, anastomosis via retroperitoneal branches of the gluteal arteries with profunda femoris arteries of the legs. This network of collaterals is what provides sufficient blood flow to nourish the extremities at rest, but it cannot prevent claudication of the upper and lower muscle groups of the leg during exercise. Sexual impotence is believed to be the result of bilateral stenosis or occlusion of the hypogastric internal iliac arteries. Okay. Gangrene of the foot or toes is rarely seen unless a distal embolization of atherosclerotic material from the aorta occludes the pedal or digital arteries. So keep in mind that the Larique syndrome has a lot of collaterals that are being put to work because of the claudication. And it's important for you to understand that it's these collaterals that provide sufficient blood flow um, at rest, but they cannot prevent the claudication of the upper and the lower muscle groups of the leg during exercise. And again, sexual impotence is believed to be the result of the bilateral stenosis of the hypogastric arteries. Thank you for listening and good luck in your board preparation.